Hi everyone, this is your word instructor and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about address resolution protocol attack. So the demonstration is going to be very simple. So first, we just want to make sure that Bob PC which is having one that two IP address can properly access to internet. To check this, we can simply use a ping to ping Facebook server IP address to make sure that Bob PC can currently access to internet. So before we start the ping, let's check the Bob PC ARP cache to see what is the gateway MAC address. So when we check the ARP table, you can probably see currently the gateway IP address which is having 1.1 is linking to the MAC address which is hand by 56. This is a normal situation. Now let's start the ping and see if the ping gonna work. So when we start the ping, the ping is working properly. That means we can properly access the internet because we can ping Facebook server. So we have no problem to access the internet from Bob PC. So now let's move to the attacker side to try to prepare the attack package. So when you look at the attack package, the whole idea is to change the gateway MAC address to DDDDD. So as you can see, now we're trying to prepare a package when 1.1 is linked to DDDD. So we will send it to Bob PC. So remember, DDD is a fake MAC address which is not existed. So when we will send this packet to Burb, we will try to change the Bob ARP entry to the fake one. So let's send it. Let's send the attack request. So when we take, send the attack, you can see we are receiving too many ARP reply from Bob PC. So this is sent by attacker. When we receive it, you can, whoa, something very interesting. Now you can see the ping just stopped we cannot ping anymore. That means we cannot access to internet anymore. It's very interesting. Let's check very quickly the ARP table again to see what is the ARP of Bob. So when we check the ARP table, wow, you can see very interesting. One that one is now linked to DDDDD or DDD is a fake MAC address. That's why Bob cannot access to internet anymore. So what we're gonna do Let's stop the attack. Let's stop the attack. So if we stop the attack and then we try to clean the ARP cache, we try to delete the ARP cache, you can see how a ping can start working properly again. We have no problem to access to internet because we stop the attack and then we clean the ARP cache. So if we go back again in the attacker sides and we try to launch the attack again, you can see now the ping, the ping just stopped, so we cannot ping anymore. That means we cannot access to internet anymore. This is because we just tried to change the gateway MAC address. We just tried to change the gateway MAC address to DDDDD, which is a fake one, so that Bob will not be able to access to internet. So if I keep the attack, Bob will never, never be able to access to internet. So this is how we can use the ARP protocol to deny a particular host in the network to access to internet. So as you saw previously, Bob PC can access to internet. And then when we launch the attack, Bob PC was not able to access to internet.